Virunga National Park is a national park in the Albertine Rift Valley in the eastern part of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It was created in 1925 and is among the first protected areas in Africa. In elevation, it ranges from 680 meters in the Semliki River Valley to 5,109 meters in the Ruanzori Mountains. From north to south it extends approximately 300 kilometers, largely along the international borders with Uganda and Rwanda in the east. It covers an area of 8,090 square kilometers. Two active volcanoes are located in the park, Mount Naragongo and Yamarajira. They have significantly shaped the national park's diverse habitats and wildlife. More than 3,000 faunal and floral species have been recorded, of which more than 300 are endemic to the Albertine Rift including eastern gorilla and golden monkey. In 1979, the national park was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of its rich diversity of habitats, exceptional biodiversity and endemism, and its protection of rare mountain gorilla habitat. It has been listed in the list of world heritage in danger since 1994 because of civil unrest and the increase of human presence in the region. There have been several deadly attacks in the park by rebel groups, and several park rangers have been killed. In the early 1920s, Several proponents of the European conservation movement championed the idea of creating a protected area in northeastern Belgian Congo, among them Victor van Straelen, Jean Massart and Jean-Marie Derscheid. When Albert National Park was established in April 1925 as Africa's first national park, it was conceived as a science-oriented nature reserve with the aim of studying and preserving wildlife and so-called primitive hunter-gatherer African pygmies. In 1926, Derscheid headed the first Belgian mission to cartograph Albert National Park, which encompassed an area of 500 square kilometers around the extinct volcanoes Mount Karasumbi and Mount Mykonos. The protected area was extended in 1929 by Virunga National Park, which encompassed the Virunga Mountains, parts of the Rutshuru Territory, and the plains south of Lake Edward. Its initial size of 2,920. 98 square kilometers was enlarged step by step in subsequent years. Indigenous people lost their traditional land rights in this process, and were evicted from the protected area. Between the late 1930s and 1955s, an estimated 85,000 Rwandophone people were moved to nearby Masasi in North Kivu. In 1934, the Institut des Parcs Nationaux du Congo Belgi was founded as the governing body for national parks in the Belgian Congo. Between the early 1930s and 1961s, several expeditions to Albert National Park were carried out by Belgian scientists, the second headed by Gaston Francois de Witt. They studied and collected zoological specimens of wildlife for the Musée Royal d'Histoire Naturelle de Belgique, explored the ethnic groups in this area, studied volcanic activity, and fossils. In the late 1950s, Tutsi herders and their cattle entered the park, destroying natural habitat up to an altitude of 3,000 meters which was thought to threaten the park's gorillas. Land laws were reformed in the 1960s after Belgian Congo became independent as the Republic of the Congo, and the land declared property of the state, much to the disadvantage of local people. Illegal hunting inside protected areas increased. In 1969, the two parks were merged under the name Virunga National Park, which was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979. In 1996, the National Park was listed as a Ramsar site of international importance. In 2011, the British company Soko International was granted a concession for extracting crude oil in the surroundings of and in large parts of the National Park. Government officials supported exploration activities by Soko International mission members, whereas park management opposed. In the course of increasing tensions, the park's chief warden, Emmanuel de Marot, was assailed in April 2014. Following international protests, the company stopped exploring activities and consented to refrain from starting similar operations in the vicinity of World Heritage Sites. By 2016, four hydropower dams were constructed that provide electricity to small businesses and benefit more than 200,000 rural people. Since the early 1990s, the protected area was impacted by political turmoil in the African Great Lakes region. Following the Rwandan genocide, thousands of refugees fled to the Kivu region, and the presence of military increased. The First and Second Congo Wars further destabilized the region. Anti-poaching patrols inside the park were obstructed, and park personnel and wildlife were killed. About 850,000 refugees lived around the national park in 1994. Up to 40,000 people entered the park daily in search of firewood and food, and deforested huge areas. In 1994, Virunga National Park was entered into the list of world heritage in danger. 
after the Second Congo War was over, confrontations between park personnel and rebel groups continued. 80 park staff were killed between 1996 and 2003. Several armed rebel groups operate in the park, including Democratic Forces for the Liberation of Rwanda and National Congress for the Defense of the People. Latter controlled the Mykno sector of Virunga National Park between December 2006 and January 2009. In 2005, the European Commission recommended a public-private partnership between the country's government and the British non-governmental organization African Conservation Fund. The latter organization is responsible for park management since 2010, about 80% of management costs are subsidized by the EC. Park. Protection efforts were militarized in the following years to deter armed rebel groups and poachers from operating inside the park. Park personnel are given paramilitary training and high-quality weaponry, and operate together with the military and state security services. These tactics, criticized as militarization of conservation, has been blamed for further violence and dispossession faced by local indigenous people. Communities, such as the Mbuti, which previously relied on the lands included in the park for food and shelter have been forced out, or risk being arrested or killed by armed park rangers. Increasing militarization of nature conservation has been accused of fueling armed mobilization of militias. The inhabitants inside the national park, whether native or refugees, rely on farming, hunting, fishing, logging and producing charcoal for their livelihoods, all prohibited activities. The local community has nowhere else to turn for security, and relies on the protection of armed groups, for which fees are levied off the prohibited activities. According to a 2010 report by the United Nations Security Council, 80% of the charcoal consumed by the city of Goma is sourced from the park, representing an annual value of used 2830 million. Both state security services and such groups also resort to armed robberies and kidnapping for income. Efforts at nature conservation has had contradictory effects, for example when farms were destroyed within Kibirizi, and soldiers and park guards were sent into patrol. People migrated even further within the park to land controlled by the FDLR, where they could rent small plots of land. The local community has developed negative feeling towards park personnel and the military. Clashes occurred in 2015 when a local Mai Mai group in Binza attempted to take back control of region, with the objective of reinstalling fishing activities and allowing the population to return, killing a park guard and 11 to 15 soldiers. Five rangers were killed in August 2017 near Lake Edward in a militia attack. Five rangers and a driver were killed in April 2018. Since beginning of the armed conflict, armed groups killed 175 park rangers until April 2018. In May 2018, a ranger was killed when defending two tourists who were kidnapped. They were subsequently released unharmed. As a consequence, the park remained closed to visitors from June 2018 until February 2019. In April 2020 at least 12 park rangers were killed by militia men attacking a civilian convoy. Again in January 2021, armed men killed at least six rangers and wounded several others in an ambush in the National Park. On February 22, 2021, Italy's ambassador to the DRC who was traveling with the World Food Program about 15 kilometers north of Goma, Luca Atanasio, as well as Italian military police officer Vittorio Iacovaxi and Congolese driver Mostafa Milambo, were killed in the gunfire when a militia that had kidnapped their convoy, and had brought them into the park, was met by park rangers who managed to free four people. Wenzori Mountains Hills Around Lake Edward Landscapes in Virunga National Park Virunga National Park is located in the Congo-Nile watershed area. Its northern sector encompasses part of the Semliki River Basin, as well as savanna and montane forest of the Albertine Rift. In altitude, this sector ranges from 680 meters in the Puemba River Valley to the highest peak of Mount Stanley at 5,109 meters within 30 kilometers. The National Park's central sector encompasses about two-thirds of Lake Edward up to the international border with Uganda in the east. A narrow corridor of 3 to 5 kilometers width along the lake's western bank connects the northern and southern sectors of the National Park. The southern sector stretches to the shores of Lake Kivu and encompasses Nyamuladra, Niragongo and Mykno volcanoes with montane forests on their slopes. The northern sector of Virunga National Park is contiguous with Uganda Semiliki Park, the Rwenzori Mountains National Park, and the central sector with Queen Elizabeth National Park. The southern sector borders Rwanda's Volcanoes National Park. The climate in the Albertine Rift is influenced by the movement of the intertropical convergence zone and the El Niño Southern Oscillation. March to mid-May and September to November are the main rainy seasons. 
Mean monthly rainfall in the savannah around Lake Edward is 30 to 40 mm, this is the driest part of the landscape. The northern sector receives a monthly mean precipitation of up to 220 mm, and the southern sector of up to 160 mm. Average temperatures in lower altitudes vary from 23 to 28 degrees Celsius, and in higher altitudes from 16 to 24 degrees Celsius, rarely dropping below 14 degrees Celsius. Riverine Forest Primary Tropical Forest Habitats in Virunga National Park Virunga National Park's flora encompasses 2,077 plant species, including 264 tree species and 230 plants that are endemic to the Albertine Rift. The plains of Virunga National Park are dominated by wetlands and grasslands with papyrus sedge, jointed flat sedge, common reed, sacket and grasses, ambatch, conkerberry, paperbark thorn and cowa fruit. Remains of dicots such as African caper, merua species, wild cucurbits, and nightshades were found in dung balls of African elephants that play a significant role for seed dispersal in the grasslands. The montane forest between 1,800 and 2,800 meters in the southern sector is dominated by Fical Olorifolia and Podocarpus melongianus with up to 25 meters high trees. African alpine bamboo grows at altitudes of 2,300 to 2,600 meters. The vegetation above 2,600 meters is subalpine with foremost African redwood growing up to 3,000 meters. Tree heath, heather and mosses cover humid slopes up to 3,700 meters elevation. Senecio and Lobelia species grow on vast clearings and attain heights of up to 8 meters. Mammals photographed in Virunga National Park Mountain Gorilla African Bush Elephant and African Buffaloes Ugandan Cob Lions Virunga National Park's faunal species include 196 mammals, 706 bird species, 109 reptiles and 65 amphibians as of 2012. Primates present in the national park include mountain gorilla, common chimpanzee, golden monkey, red-tailed monkey, dense mona monkey, blue monkey, hamlin's monkey, tabrazaz monkey, central african red colobus, mantle gereza, olive baboon and gray-cheeked mangabe. African bush elephant, hippopotamus and african buffalo inhabit the national park's central sector. Okapi, Blue Diker, Bay Diker, Waynes's Diker, Yellowback Diker, Water Chevrotain, Red River Hog, Aardvark and Bongo were recorded in the northern sector in 2008. Harnessed Bushbuck and Giant Forest Hog are present in the southern sector. All of the Topi cluster to the south of Lake Edward in the Ashasa Flats region, and regularly cross the border into Uganda. Other ungulates present include Ugandan Cob, Waterbuck, and Common Warthog. Virunga National Park together with the adjacent Queen Elizabeth National Park forms a lion conservation unit. The area is considered a potential lion stronghold, if poaching is curbed and prey species recover. In the National Park's northern sector, African leopard, marsh mongoose, giant pangolin, tree pangolin, crested porcupine, Lord Derby scaly-tailed squirrel, Gomes bush squirrel, western tree hyrax, Emmons pouched rat and checkered elephant shrew were recorded during surveys in 2008. The Semliki River provides habitat for Nile crocodile. Several were observed at the northern shore of Lake Edwards in 1988 for the first time. Of the Albertine Rift's endemic birds, Ruenzori turico, Ruenzori batis, Archer's ground robin, red-throated alethi, Kivu ground thrush, collared apollis, mountain mastopollis, dusky crimson wing, Shelley's crimson wing, red-faced woodland warbler. Stripe-breasted tit, blue-headed sunbird, regal sunbird. Ruenzori double-collared sunbird, handsome spurfowl and strange weaver were recorded in Virunga National Park's southern sector during surveys in 2004. Non-endemic birds recorded include Wahlberg's eagle, African goshawk, African hobby, harrier hawk, common buzzard, mountain buzzard, hadida ibis, gray crown crane, black and white cast hornbill, black-billed turaco, African olive pigeon, tambourine dove, blue-spotted wood dove, red-eyed dove, brown-necked parrot, red-chested cuckoo, olive-long-tailed cuckoo, bard-long-tailed cuckoo, Clausus cuckoo, beaterite cuckoo, blue-headed cuckoo, narina trogon, white-headed wood. Hoopoo, white-necked raven, white-tailed crested flycatcher, African paradise flycatcher, white-eyed slaty flycatcher, African dusky flycatcher, white-tailed blue flycatcher, mountain oriole, speckled mousebird, cinnamon-chested bee-eater, gray-throated barbet, yellow-billed barbet, Western Tinkerbird, Yellow Rump Tinkerbird, Cardinal Woodpecker, Olive Woodpecker, Black Saw Wing, Angolan Swallow, Alpine Swift, Mountain Greenbull, Yellow Whiskered Greenbull, 
Common Bulbul. White Starred Robin, Archer's Ground Robin, White Browed Robin Chat, Stone Chat, Rufus Thrush, African Thrush, Olive Thrush, Grassland Pipit, Cinnamon Bracken Warbler, Black Faced Rufus Warbler, Mountain Yellow Warbler, Brown Woodland Warbler, Green Sandpiper, Chubbs Chisticola, Banded Prania, Chestnut Throated Apollis, Gray Backed Comoroptera, White Browed Crombeck, Black Throated Wattleye, Chin Spot Battis, Mountain Illidopsis, Gray Chested Illidopsis, Olive Sunbird. Bronze Sunbird, Malachite Sunbird, Collared Sunbird, Variable Sunbird, Yellow White Eye, McKinnon's Shrike, Doherty's Bush Shrike, Looter's Bush Shrike, Northern Puffback, Mountain Sooty Boo Boo, Tropical Boo Boo, Narrow Tailed Starling, Sharp Starling, Bagloft Weaver, Black Bishop, Gray Headed Negro Finch, Common Waxbill, Black Headed Waxbill, Bronze Mannequin, Black and White Mannequin, Pintailed Witta, African Citral, Streaky Seed Eater and Thick Billed Seed Eater. Children around a health care center settlements at the edge of the Naragongo Crater ethnic groups in and around Virunga National Park ethnic groups living in and around Virunga. National Park include, the documentary Virunga documents the work of Virunga National Park Rangers and the activities of British oil company Soko International within the park. Nakasi, a gorilla from the park, was featured in a few television series and movies, including the Netflix documentary. Thanks for watching.